Hey, do you suffer from anxiety or depression or something like that, or even some um, PTSD? One of, one of the things I want to just share with you here, and, and I'm just working with some clients using doing energy work. You know, it's basically one of the things is, is I'm known for my energy healing and being able to shift and see into consciousness. And I um, just want to share with you that I was working with this one person that um, had anxiety. And as we were shifting the anxiety, um, they had a side effect that they got their eyesight back. And I went, what the hell? How did that happen? What's going on? And one of the things I just want to share with you is, you know, they, they're not broken. And one of this is one of the things I work with a lot of the people and, and, and get them to recognize not broken. It's not their fault that they have the anxiety in that. Um, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with them. They don't need fixing. They just um, got their consciousness or their awareness focusing in a direction that's not serving them. It's not giving the best for them. And, and they keep recycling the pattern and you may notice this yourself that you have your good times if you're, you're someone that gets anxiety and that and you have your good times and then out of nowhere this it's like this surge just comes through and takes you over and the the, the thing that we look at is and a lot of people say they want to get it out and, I, and that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they want to get it out and if you're wanting to get it out, I want, you to, I want you to listen to me here. And if you're wanting to get it out, you're saying it's wrong, it's bad. And, and, and there's a separation, you're creating a separation. What it is there, if you recognize, if you were to place love into it and imagine, imagine to inject love into it, light into it, and just let the light do the, the space, what you'll tend to notice, the separation that happens through the anxiety begins to fall away. And you come back into a place of peace and calmness inside of yourself. Now when we can do this, and when I work with my clients, and, and, and like the one that got their eyesight back, the what happens here is we're able to raise the frequency and move you out of that uh, dilemma where the anxiety is playing out. But it's, at no time are we ever trying to get rid of anything. You know, one of the things that where people get caught here is they see it as a problem. It's not a problem, you and, and there's nothing wrong with you. It's just you're focusing in the wrong, um, in, in the wrong way, so to speak. And when we can get you to turn and put your focus on to what you're wanting to create and get you moving in that direction, you very quickly move away from it. That you don't got to, you don't got to fix it. There's nothing broken. It's just where you're focusing, and you know when when you see a miracle, when someone's there with you and their eyesight comes back where they don't know we need to wear glasses anymore, they something shifts, and they raise that frequency inside of themselves, and you too are able to do this. But it takes courage, and the courage is to be willing to stop blaming yourself, stop beating yourself up, stop thinking there's anything wrong, and be willing to take this other road. I've seen it work so many times, and you know, the last one was just, just happened last week, so uh, that's why it's fresh in my mind, but there's so many other people that have had the side effects of their life taking a massive shift because they were able to move, shift their consciousness in the way they think and to be able to place light in it. And the way you place light, because I know you're gonna try this, is you invite it in. You invite love, the love and the light into where the anxiety or the depression is. You just invite it in. Don't expect it to do anything other than just be there. And as it's there, it'll begin to expand in you. And you'll find that there'll just be space. And all of a sudden the noise will begin to quieten. And when we do this, when I do this with people, I hold them really deep in it and it begins to unravel. So you can um, allow yourself to do this. If you'd like to experience more than this, I'm doing a three-part three masterclass um, next week, which will, or one of them is totally on healing. Um, uh, other than that, if you'd like to know more, then hey, just reach out, uh, uh, message me, and I'll be more than willing to have a have a chat with you to see where you're at and help you create the life that you want. Because hey, you deserve it. 
You take care, eh? Blessings.